having been convicted in Lika, criminal case number 66252015. He, that's accused one, availed that record in court in a bid to show that accused three was lying. That record shows that the other charge in Lika was also an armed robbery, whereby they had hijacked a complainant, beaten a house, and left her for death in the forest. In this case, they took their evil game and not fire and killed the innocent victim, as has been submitted by the State Council. That killing was senseless since they had already taken the vehicle, if that was their motive. This act of killing points to an extremely evil person who takes pleasure in hurting others and cannot be justified at all. Mr. Kimani Jukuna has referred to the Murotetu case, which untied the hands of the court in sentencing. That decision, however, did not do away either with the death sentence. It, in, it only pointed out that the court has discretion in matters of sentences depending on each circumstance. The court has looked at the circumstances of this case and know that at least one in particular has chosen a life of extreme vice and violence and therefore it's important that he be kept away from society and for a long time. Accused too was his close associate, though he was not convicted in this Vicar case. And having been considered the time that they have spent in custody, the court sentences each of them to a prison term for the remainder of their lives. Tangu wakati ule nilipomlete hapa hospitali kumuona uh, maiti wakati tulikuwa tuna tulikuwa tunatarajia kumsika siku yake ya kesho tulikuja naye alipomuona hata hakujibu aliangalia na akatoka nafikiri ya kichwa yake liharibika tangu wa leo mama na ni mwalimu hawezi kujua <laughs> Ana, hata watoto wake wakija wasichana kama wakija anasema huu ni yule mtoto yangu akimwambia anaitwa nani anasema ah si ile nani huyu ana hawezi kutabua ni jina ni gani na ni mtoto wake na tumekuwa na a very tough journey kutoka hiyo wakati mpaka hii wakati na ile kitu ningesema leo nimesema kuna Mungu mbinguni sababu sisi hatukuwa na wakili tulikuwa na my dad tumesa, tumetebea hii safari na my dad my father in law na tumeona leo at least it's a relief sababu hiyo miaka yote tulikuwa tumetoka yeye alikuwa anatoka Nyahururu anakuja all the way to Nyeri for the case mimi nilikuwa natoka Nairobi hata ile siku natoka Nairobi watoto wanakuanga na na wanaogopa sana nikikuja huku wao waga wanasikia wako sawa nikirudi Nairobi sababu kwa hivyo kwa hivyo naweza sema it's a Relief leo na nimesikia vizuri vile koti imeamua ya kwamba hao watu wamefungwa maisha hiyo ndio tulikuwa tunalilia at least justice to prevail sababu hao watu ni watu wanafaa kuwa out of the society ni watu walitenda vitendo na hata hiyo kitendo ilikuwa kitendo baya otherwise nimefurahi angalau kuna mmoja ameachiliwa huyo huyo alikuwa mchukiwa watatu nimeshidwa ya kwamba katra kilikuwa imeonyesha kutoka mahali walitupa mwili mpaka mahali walishikiwa hakuna mahali hiyo gari ilikuwa inaonyesha ati imesimama na yeye anasema alipewa lift akiwa karatina kwa hivyo hapo nimeweka question mark agalao hao wawili wacha waendelee na hiyo kifu